I think the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel should actually change the breed name to the Shadow Dog because Denver is definitely a shadower. Denver's favourite things is riding in the car, sticking his head out the window and feeling the wind in his ears. The other favourite things are definitely weeing and sniffing. And weeing and sniffing and weeing and sniffing. Can't get enough of it. I know I said Denver's a bit of a shadow, but the only time that doesn't happen is chicken somewhere in the room. His focus goes directly to the chicken. So chicken is definitely his favourite treat. When we first got Denver, we did train him with a few basic tricks, like he could sit and lie down. But once we got the Kelpie, there was a little bit of best dog competitiveness going on and Denver has really pulled up his socks. He can now um, actually shake hands, uh, turn around, beg, and also the Kelpie taught him to open the gate that should never be opened. When he was a puppy, he was absolutely mad keen for water and he just loved chasing water around, especially the hose, and he'd do these amazing little jumps. Now he's a bit more like a cat. He looks for the best climate controlled area in the house, as well as the most comfortable surfaces. When we got Denver, we had Ted, who was an English setter. And these two bonded, well, actually, probably Denver terrorised Ted for most of his life. <laughs> But they were great mates and when Ted passed on, Denver was pretty much depressed for a year. Um, it's really interesting to see how dogs react to grief. He's finally got his mojo back and a bit of a spring in his step. And now we have Muffin the Kelpie who really keeps him on his toes. Denver is a very lovey dovey dog. And if you like lots of pats, he's the perfect dog. Ninja. Mm -hmm.